what a fantastic source of omega-3 these little treasures really are. Admittedly, ALA omega-3 needs to be converted to long-chain omega-3, so it's not quite as beneficial as the long-chain omega-3 found in fish, but it all helps. Omega-3s play an important role in the development of your baby's yeah. eyes and brain. Yeah. Our mommy. baby's brains grow faster yeah. during pregnancy yeah. than at mommy. any other time in their mommy. lives. Yeah. Your baby's brain yeah. is yeah. about the size yeah. of a grain of sand at four weeks gestation, wow. but increases yeah. by 260% yeah. by the time your baby reaches the final trimester. Studies show that newborn omega-3 status sour, has a strong positive correlation to your dietary yeah, intake me. during pregnancy. Making omega-3 rich mm -hmm. walnuts an like important a pregnancy snack. Mm -hmm. Now, second place goes to delicious pistachios. Yeah. 874 yeah. pregnant mamas took and part in a to very interesting space, study. Mm -hmm. The mamas were randomly assigned to either the control group where they ate their normal diet, or a group where they were instructed to eat a serve of pistachio nuts and include two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in their diets each day. The researchers found that the mamas in the intervention group eating the nuts had a rateability of harm of consuming higher doses of flax during pregnancy. But until more research is done, I want to warn you against consuming large doses of flax during pregnancy. The research falls into three categories. Firstly, animal studies. Research on pregnant rats has found that high levels of flaxseed significantly As I said earlier, flaxseeds are extremely nutritious, so you don't need to avoid them altogether. But I do recommend that you avoid flaxseed oil supplements during your pregnancy, unless recommended by your healthcare professional. Now, guidelines vary from country to country, but having studied the research and given the health benefits of flax seeds, I believe that as long as you limit your flax seed intake to less than 45 grams per day, which is the equivalent to about four tablespoons, or 30 ml, which is around two tablespoons of flax seed oil, you should be safe. But it's always best to get personalised advice from your prenatal dietitian. Now, make sure that you check out some of my other pregnancy videos on topics such as can I eat turmeric in pregnancy? And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Through until toddlerhood, where the children, uh, I can't speak for the trajectory. You never say that word, I don't know why I put it into a video. <laughs> trajectory, okay. Trajectory. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling your bump grow can be delightful and exciting, but it can also create pressure to push it on the valve at the top of your tummy. As the valve then opens more than usual, acid can rise up, causing a burning sensation at the top of your stomach, esophagus and throat. This tummy acid can leave a sour taste in your mouth. As some foods can lessen this burning sensation and others may trigger it, today I want to share three diet tips to help you head off heartburn during pregnancy. Stay tuned! First off, I want to say hello. My name is Melanie McBride. I'm an accredited practicing dietitian and I specialize in healthy nutrition for women, especially during fertility, pregnancy and postpartum. While you're visiting my channel, please take time to look around and check out some of my other videos. You can also download my free pregnancy meal plan from melaniemcrice.com slash pregnancy, which offers a good guide for super healthy nutrition choices for you and your bub. Now, back to those heartburn tips. Tip number one, skip spicy and fatty foods. Spices such as pepper and chili may trigger burning in your tummy or cause further irritation if you have pregnancy heartburn. Other flavoursome ingredients such as garlic and onion and condiments such as mustard can also have a similar effect, so cut back on them too. Instead, boost the flavour in your meals with milder herbs such as continental parsley and dried mixed herbs. Try to also avoid hot, rich dishes such as curries, especially takeaway versions, which tend to be higher in fat. 
which leads me to fatty food. 